All right, let's uh, quickly go over now internal threads. We went over external threads uh, pretty much in depth, probably too long. You're fast forwarding through that uh, video. Um, but like I say, the internal um, threads, you know, we, uh, yeah, a tapped hole basically. Um, when you drill a hole and you want threads you put, so you can put a bolt into it, you tap it, and that is the difference between the tap and the die. Die would be external, tap, internal. Um, and it actually is pretty much the same thing. Since I did this for a M20 um, on the outside, I did the internal hole a uh, M20 also, but it um, uh, instead of taking the actual 20 millimeter diameter, you're going to take the um, what was it the minor diameter, which is uh, kind of similar to the major diameter on the external. The minor diameter is the farthest inward that you'll have uh, material and then you cut the opposite direction inwards so minor diameter of a m uh what was the m20 i'm looking at the other screen 17.294 which i can show you that before 7.29 so um similarly you're going to go to your hole wizard go to thread and it's going to give you the warning you don't just as long as you know that these are just the basics. If you want to fine tune your um, thread profile, you got to fine tune it. So uh, location, everything's pretty much the same. Uh, I'm going to give the oops, give the edge. And right now we're on uh, metric die. I want metric tap because I'm doing the inside. So this will, you know, if I zoom in, you can see it's actually cutting starting on that edge, which is the uh, minor diameter, and cutting inwards. Uh, it's, I'm still on the M20 uh, by 1.5. So these things are pretty much all set up already. Um, cut thread, yes, that's what I want. You know, extrude thread, yeah, that's just gonna add part um, stuff to it. And if I mirrored it, of course, I would just uh, cut air. And if I did the mirrored, of course, uh, extrude, that would actually add parts to it. But for the most part, you're doing cut thread and I'm uh, pretty much want the angle of the cut zero right hand if uh, I made the thread you know if I'm screwing a regular um, bolt into it uh, that's right-handed well, I want the right hand threads also on the inside um, so it's pretty much exactly the same uh, with this one we had blind 15 you go blind Pretty much all the uh, other other things are the same. I can go uh, thread location. I could uh, change it up here, but it's not going to make any uh, sense because I'm just going to want to uh, go into the part, which doesn't make any sense. But I can start it at here. The same thing about the offset. Uh, you know, it's better to have an offset outward. This is offset inward, so you know, just change the offset outward. That way, I'm guaranteed and maintain thread length. If I want, you know, 15 millimeters in, I want to make sure I can screw it in, um, you know, 15 millimeters. Make sure you select maintain thread length. Otherwise, when you do the offset, then you're subtracting. So you only get uh, what, 13 and a half millimeters without that maintain thread length. Um, so <clears throat> that's pretty much uh, all the other uh, variations that you can do to the outside, you can do the inside. So I'm not going to really go over those again. Hit select. Now we have our internal threads. Now the same thing applies in the internal. It's kind of harder to, uh, you know, zip it. Or if you can, well, in reality, when you're uh, tapping a hole, yeah, they do have bottom tapping um, <coughs> tools that are flat on the end that can get almost all the way right up to the edge. But for the most part, uh, usually, uh, you know, when you're tapping a hole, you're going to drill a hole. You know, at least, let's say, uh, compared to the diameter, a, uh, a good portion. Uh, well, it dep also depends on the size. The smaller the tap, you know, we get like an M M1, 2, 3, 4, 5 smaller taps. Um, you have a little bit of a sharper tip. Uh, the bigger they are, you might have to go an extra, you know, 4 or 5 millimeters. Um, then you're going to have no uh, tap or, you know, basically no threads because you just can't get that deep. Um, so take that into account when you're actually uh, designing if you're going to do a, uh, a thread like this and a thread hole in reality you want to make sure the hole is deeper than the actual amount of threads that you want.